All right, what's going on, little boys and girls? Uh, let's make a video here real quick. Uh, TikTok, this is probably going to go over three minutes, so the extended version will be on YouTube or BitChute if you care to watch it. Anyway, man, let's talk about gas prices, shall we? Let's, let's, let's look at the scam that the uh, Ponzi scheme governments have got going on now. Let's check this out, guys. Uh, a year and a half ago, you know, the price of oil per barrel went down, plummeted down to minus $30 a barrel. Minus $30 a barrel. Okay, why? Because the world was just overflowing with oil. There were so many countries pumping oil. Venezuela got attacked on the grid because they were trying to shut them down because Venezuela is the number one producer of oil. They didn't want any of their oil being pumped anymore so who suffered when venezuela got attacked the citizens do just like every war just like ukraine just like russia citizens are the ones who suffer so anyway they're trying to shut down oil production all over the world so only the rich people can enjoy it you know saudi arabia united states china russia you know they want to maintain a ponzi scheme grip on the price of oil but anyway the price finally came back up 20 bucks a barrel 25 bucks a barrel settled in around there for the last year or so uh so anyway now get this now we get a little war with russia and ukraine and all of a sudden the price of oil spikes up over 100 bucks a barrel how's that happen why does that happen okay remember now we got more oil being pumped in the world. We got so much. We, you know, I mean, everything's going electric now. Pretty soon you won't even need oil. Well, you will, but not that much. Okay. So how does it go up over 100 to support the Saudis and support Russia that need that money on oil? Oil is huge business. Okay. They want to keep the prices up. So who pays for this Ponzi scheme that they got going on now? These governments, Biden, Putin, and the rest of them. You know, who pays for this, guys? The citizens, how? They raise the price of gas. $4, $5, $6, $7 a gallon. There you have it. Okay, this is how they're going to do it. All they got to do is start a little war, make a bunch of noise, you know, and then they're going to raise the price of gas. And that's how they do it. And that's where all the money comes from to keep these boys nice and rich. So who suffers? The citizens. The people, that get the slaves that got to go back and forth to work every day and keep their gas tank filled. Right? So that's how it works, guys. That's the Ponzi scheme that's going on right now. Okay, we got so much oil in the world, and they found a way to raise the price of the, uh, gas or oil back up over 100. Just start a little war. That's how they do it. That's how they do it each and every time. Uh, the stimulus check, you know, that, the, you know, they stole tr trillions of dollars from you guys, you know, because when they when they steal these these trillions of dollars, what they do is they counterfeit this money. They send it out to everybody, 100, 700 bucks, 1,000 bucks. People spend it and it goes right back to the government. See, that's another Ponzi scheme. Uh, but anyway, guys, how is that stimulus money still holding up for you? It was gone in a week, over a year ago. So all that money did nothing. They, they printed, they, they counterfeited trillions of dollars. It's already gone. Makes this, this it's worthless. You know, it went right back into the hands of the government. The thieves, the crooks, right? Keep voting for them because that's who they are. They're the mafia. They're the criminals. They're the real criminals. Justice system. Uh, over in Ukraine, Hunter Biden and a bunch of other politicians, sons and uh, family work over there making, making a lot of money on this. This little war that's going on. It's got something to do with oil politics whatever but anyway they're all working over there in ukraine making all kinds of money off this war another scheme they got going on one way or another right they're they're raping everybody um what else was i going to talk about yeah they're talking about how you know russia's saying <clears throat> how evil ukraine is you know the leaders and the leadership and all this and once we get control it's going to be pure and it's going to be good and we're going to get control of it and once it's in our control you know, there, there will be no more evil. You know, this, this is what Putin's saying. You know, here's a guy, again, who's worth over a billion dollars because he's been raping the taxpayers just like every other government, you know. Um, 
Yeah, apparently all the evil is going to flee once Russia gets control of Ukraine. And they're saying two, three, four weeks, five weeks, you know, he'll have it. So anyway, you know, and Biden's over here telling everybody that, well, we're going to we're going to financially strangle them. You know, so blah, 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 which is total BS because you can't do that to governments. They got all the money they need. They don't even need money. They do what they want anyway. Uh, again, as I said in my last video, Putin has more gold. They can go to the gold standard and, you know, basically say bye-bye to the dollar, which would then, you know, supposedly plummet our economy into the death pit. To bring in the new digital beast economy where they want everybody to have their money in digital so they can track and control you, you know, into the beast system. Take the mark. Uh, pretty much that's it, guys. Uh, I wanted to touch on that, why the gas prices are going up so high in the Ponzi scheme that's going on there. So easy to see, but most people don't, you know, but that's what's going down and that's how it's going down. Uh, and we'll leave it with that. All right, guys, I'm done. Uh, peace out. Take care. God bless. Have a great day.